Hey guys, Luch here and welcome to another episode of Divas Getting Raw, episode number 23. Cassie is not with us today, she is out on vacation, cruising around the ocean, so shout out to Cassie, but let's get right into this Raw. We are in Wisconsin and a lot of stuff is going down, so let me catch you up. Day before this was Money in the Bank pay-per-view. I did not see it, I read a lot of articles about it, but guys, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Definitely look it up, see what happened, and now this is the next day. Monday Night Raw, let's get into it. Vince McMahon comes out and the crowd is chanting Punk's name. Vince McMahon says he will never say that name, okay? He's upset about last night, about Money in the Bank, and he also says, and he reiterates throughout the entire show, no one is bigger than the WWE. No Brett, no Shawn Michaels, no nobody is bigger than the WWE. So tonight there is going to be an eight-man tournament to crown the new WWE champion. And the people who are going to be in this tournament is going to be Alex Riley, The Miz, Jack Swagger, R-Truth, Alberto Del Rio, Coffee Kingston, Rey Mysterio, and Dolph. So, first one up is going to be Alex Riley versus The Miz. It's a good match. Miz wins. He goes to the semifinals. Next we have up Jack Swagger versus R-Truth. This was a pretty cool match. I liked it a lot. Um, I liked how R-Truth was in the ankle lock from Jack Swagger and then suddenly manages to just roll up Jack Swagger. It was pretty cool to watch it, but um, R-Truth wins. He's off to the semifinals. Alberto Del Rio versus Coffee Kingston. Coffee rolls up Alberto for the win and Coffee advances to the semifinals. Next we have up Rey Mysterio versus Dolph Ziggler, the US champion. Uh, Rey does a 619 to the top rope splash and Rey wins. He's off to the semifinals. Next we have up a 7-on-7 seven seven Diva match. It was a Diva match. Beth Phoenix wins, so congratulations to you. Now we're going back to the 8-man tournament, which is now just the 4-team tournament. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have first up is Miz vs. Coffee. Miz wins it with the skull-crushing finale. He's off to the finals. R-Truth vs. Rey Mysterio. Rey wins with the 619 and the top rope splash. He's off to the finals. And then we have the final, which is Ray versus Miz, and now this is for all the kudos in the world. This is for the, US, the WWE Championship belt. Um, Ray's already in the ring because he just had his match with R-Truth, and they're about to announce Miz to come down, announce him to come to the ring. But Vince makes his way to the ring before Miz is called out. He says that the final is going to take place next week because they're running out of time. So... You know, he just says that, you know, he reiterates again that no one is bigger than the WWE. And, uh, you know, he calls out John Cena because he wants to get it over with. And he, he wants to make an example out of him. You don't, you know, you don't mess with Vince McMahon, pretty much. And uh, John Cena comes out, he grips the mic, you know, he tells him he won't talk bad about the company or talk bad about Vince. You know, you gave him this opportunity, this great opportunity to be part of this big family. And, you know, he'll never forget it. And... You know, he understands what Vince has to do. Vince said he's going to do it. He's a man of his word. Just get it over with. And John Cena says he's totally fine with it. Um, you know, if he says that Cena's about to walk off and Vince goes to stop him. And all of a sudden, Triple H's music starts. And Vince introduces his son-in-law, Triple H. Triple H goes on and tells him that they had a board meeting and that they are concerned with Vince McMahon's decisions. They filed an injunction against him. I mean, they are going to appoint someone to take over the WWE because they are concerned so much about Vince McMahon's decision. I mean, this is getting very emotional. I had tears in my eyes watching this part. It was, it was very... I, I've never watched WWE and got so emotional about anything like this before. So, he then goes on, Triple H goes on to say that Cena is not fired and that... No one is bigger than the business. And as of right now, Vince McMahon is relieved of his duties. So I mean, it's very, very emotional WWE. A lot of stuff happened. I guess we'll see next week what goes on with Miz versus Ray for the WWE Champion. So other than that, guys, that's this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to give a shout out to Cassie, who's cruising around. Girl, hope you're having a great time. And uh, all you guys for watching. So yeah, guys, leave in the comments below what you think is going to happen and what you thought about the emotional ending of WWE. And that's it, guys. Take care. Bye. Mwah.